We come back again with the video number 13 of Oracle Real Application Cluster 19C Lab Setup. So let's check what we have done so far. You can see that we reach right now to the last step, which is manage cluster services. The managing or administering the Oracle Grid infrastructure or Oracle cluster is a big topic. I cannot cover it in a one short video, but I will try to give some tips and simple scenarios that allow you to have an idea about how the managing or administering the Oracle cluster look, looks like. In a short, you can say this is like an intro for you to start your journey with the Oracle Grid infrastructure. So with all that being said, let's jump in. To manage Oracle cluster services, we have two utilities or two commands that can help us to achieve this. The first one is CRSCTL and the second one is SRVCTL. So the CRSCTL can be run from root and the grid, start from Oracle 10G, cannot stop cluster where from grid user, you need a root user or a pseudo privilege. Help to manage clusterware services such as CRS, CSS, CTS, and other. SRVCTL can be run from Oracle and the grid user. Start from Oracle 9i, which is, it, this tool is older than the CRSCTL. This tool also can add, modify, remove, control, and view cluster services. Manage databases, instances, listeners, and services, etc. It's good to mention that also CRSCTL can do the same as what uh, SRVCTL capable to do, but Oracle recommend to keep the SRVCTL to manage those uh, component and uh, CRSCTL to manage clusterware services. As you can see here, right now I'm connected to the first node and second node as a root user. I add also to the path uh, the u 19 c grid grid underscore home slash bin directory. This will help us to run the CRSCTL and SRVCTL from the root. As I mentioned before, to stop the cluster, you need to have a root privilege or sudo user. Resource minus T. We can see here that the cluster is right now up and running and all the services are online on both nodes, which is rack 1 and rack 2. Uh, I see everything is fine, so let's move right now. If we say that we want to stop the second node, how we can perform this one as a service, I mean, CRSCTL stop C uh, uh, cluster like this, minus N, then rack 2, which is the host name. I name it as rack 1 and rack 2, so you can put here rack 2. Then if it's uh, stuck or anything, uh, you can put minus F to force the stop. But for me, uh, everything is fine, so I can issue it like this. I will hit enter. So the, this command is finished successfully and the second node right now is uh, the services. I mean the cluster services right now is down. I'm here in the second node. Now we need to check the CRS. So CRS, CTL, the CRS, which is cluster ready service. We can see here that the high availability service is online. And uh, we can see that this service, if, if this service is online, we are capable to run the cluster again from the, sec the from the first node. If this is offline, Oracle High Availability Service is offline, you cannot perform the next step from the first node. I back again here to the first node. Now let's check the cluster, CRSCTL, stat, res minus T. We can see that the only, uh, the, the only uh, node, which is uh, the rack one, is uh, online and uh, running. So that means it's uh, the, f the second node da and right now is uh, da uh, the services, I mean, is down. So let's start the second node from here. As, as I mentioned uh, before, if the uh, high availability service on the second node is not running, it's offline, you cannot perform this one. So CRS CTL start, then uh, cluster, then dash n rack 2, and then we will hit enter. So the starting of second uh, second node is finished successfully. Let's check the status. So let's run the command crsctl stat res, which is resource minus t. So list it as a table. We can see here that the services are trying to the the has tried to bring the services right now up and running. You need uh, to wait at least uh, two minutes to bring all the services on the second node to be ready. 
we can see that the right now both nodes are online uh the services are online and everything is fine we can see here that the most of the services and all the services are online we have except this one which we are not using this uh, service this cluster service now if we want to stop all the cluster services and we need to shut down both nodes how we can perform this one we can do like this so if we want to perform uh, a shutdown for a maintenance for the cluster we can shut down the uh, cluster services by uh, by applying dash all that means we'll apply the shutdown for all the nodes let's hit enter we can see that the stop of uh, cluster services on both nodes uh, finished successfully after after the crs ctl stop cluster and all node uh, command uh, finished successfully we still cannot uh, power off the two servers we need first to crs ctl check first the crs let's see yeah this service or oracle high availability service is online that means the cluster will still running crs ctl uh, check also here crs so we need to stop both of them so crs crs ctl stop C, stop sorry stop crs and as well here crs ctl st uh, stop crs now we can shut down both operating system or both nodes and reboot them or shut down them for the maintenance so once we bring the cluster down in both nodes if you want to configure the crs to start auto start on uh, reboot you can perform this command crs ctl enable crs this will allow the crs to start on reboot you can see here the service auto start is enabled the same we do crs ctl enable crs so by issue this command once you reboot or shut down and bring the or uh, restart your uh, node it will automatically run the crs and bring the services up and running automatically so let's check the crs if it's running or not we can see here it's not running and it's not available it's not online on both nodes so we need to start the crs or high the high availability service how we can do this we can do this by issue this command crs ctl start crs hit enter and also in the second node the same then let's check again we can see that the high availability service is online check here again we can see also the high availability is online once we bring the high availability service online we we right now can start the cluster we can start the cluster by issue the command crs ctl start cluster dash all once the up command is finished we can right now issue crs ctl status minus t so we can see here that the cluster right now is up and running we can see here all the services are right now uh, up so we can see here the database is open and everything is fine no offline service except those we are not used by the cluster to know more about the crs ctl options and combination you can do crs ctl h which is for uh, which is list for you a help menu you can see here you can see the crs add check config create debug all these uh, combination or uh, options that you can use with crs I'm right now in the first node as a grid user. Uh, now we will try to work uh, and give some examples about the SRVCTL command. So let's start if we want to stop one instance. Let's say we have uh, here we have two instances. Let me just uh, show you resource minus T. We can see that we have here broad. We have two instances. The first one is on uh, first uh, node. The second one is in the second node. If we want to stop this node, the second node, as an instance, and keep this database running on the first node, how we can do this? It's simply by issuing this command: srvctl stop instance minus d broad minus i broad two. That means I will stop the second instance only. So that means I will stop this instance service only. So the command is finished right now. Let's check the service status. 
you can see here that the second node right now is offline and we successfully shut down the second uh, node database so that means we are able only to connect the database from the first node it's good to mention that i shut it down this instance using the first node but this service is running on the second node so as you can see here this is the power of uh, grid infrastructure and clusterware that i can manage all the clusters or all the nodes from any node i wish because they are connected to each other using a clusterware so we stopped the instance now we will bring it up again so the command to bring it up is srvctl start then the instance we will need to work on the instance minus d which is the which uh, database we work on we work on broad minus i which mean instance we mean the second instance hit enter so to check the status of the uh, two instances we can issue also srvctl status database minus d prod that means the both instances right now up and running on rack one and rack two so if we want to stop the database and all nodes how we can do this using srvctl we can issue this command srvctl stop database minus d prod this will bring both nodes or both instances down so this command is finished let's check the status of the database you can see here that the broad one and broad two instances are not running on rack one and rack two to bring both node database up and running again we need to issue this command srvctl start database minus d prod let's check the status again we can see that the instance uh, broad one and broad two are right now running on both nodes rack one and rack two so this is how we can uh, restart the database on both in all nodes there is another command with uh, srvctl which is called srvctl uh, we have this option which is config we can check the configuration of the database for example then uh, d uh, broad this will show us the configuration of the broad database uh, service we can see here that we have here the sp file we have here also the oracle home this is the oracle home we have uh, database role which is primary if we have a data guard it should be standby if that one is a standby database for data guard uh, we have here the disk groups which is of ra and data mount point all this information you can also edit this information but uh, to edit this information or add let's say we want to change the password file for example let me just show you uh, one trick so to modify the database uh, configuration we can issue srvctl modify database here i put minus h to show me the help menu and then i will grab minus i okay for oracle home let's say home like this it will show me what's the comb combination we have you can see that i have dash oracle home so i can put also the path for the oracle home for this database and uh, if i want also the password file i can put here password like this it will show me what's the um, switch for the password file so pw file the same for uh, b file let's call, call it like this b file sp file it will show me what's the yeah minus sp file so like this you can search the help okay menu and you can uh, find uh, which switch you can use I found it like this is easy to search and uh, to be familiar also with this tool because this tool you cannot master it uh, well it's uh, have a hundred of combination and options now I will try to show you how we can create um, a service okay let's say we want to create a service for application called sales so I'm connected right now to the second node uh, under Oracle user we want to create a service so to create a service uh, we can uh, create a service like this uh, the service will be belong to the database called broad the bdb because i use multi-tenant architecture that's mean i am using a pluggable database minus uh, service you can put minus s or minus service it will work the service i will name it sales and uh, the preferred uh, both instances i will put uh, the broad one and broad two let's hit enter so to check the status of the service we can put srvctl status service minus d broad 
you can see it's not running so we need to start this service so to start it we need to issue this command srvctl start service minus d prod minus s sales and we need to hit enter now we need to check the service status we can see that this uh, service is running the sales service is running on the first uh, node and second node so this is uh, help us to manage the application in case if we have many application connect to the broad one bdb or many schema belong to different application we can create a, a, a service for each uh, application if we have any downtime so we can stop that service not stop all the database to perform the maintenance for that for that application so if we want to stop the application we can perform srvctl stop service minus d prod minus s sales if we want to remove the service we can issue srvctl remove service minus d prod minus s sales so right now we can see that we able to create a service we can also start the service check the status stop the service and remove it i think this is helpful if you have a different application connected to your database and you need to manage those application to each service so as you can see here all the steps are done right now and uh, that's it for the oracle real application cluster 19c lab setup hope you enjoyed thank you for watching have a good day thank you bye